let's talk about options for the abdomen. Let's talk about these procedures ranging from least invasive, like cool sculpt, which is not invasive, to liposuction, which is minimally invasive, to tummy tuck, which is an invasive procedure. The reason we have this seesaw here is because it's always a balancing act. Something that's less invasive is going to be less dramatic. And something that's more invasive is going to be more dramatic. Here is a result of a cool sculpt before and after. This is a person without a big problem who gets modest amount of improvement. This is someone who elected for liposuction because she has extra skin, which is minimal in nature, and extra fat, and that's liposuction before and after with good improvement in the skin quality, as well as removal of that fat. And that fat removal is permanent. It's gone. It's in a bucket. This person has lots of stretch marks, has muscle laxity because of having had children, and extra skin that laps or folds over her undergarments. She got a tummy tuck, and that's going to be the most appropriate procedure for her because of the muscle laxity and extra skin with stretch marks. So again, least invasive cool sculpt, which is non-invasive, minimally invasive liposuction done in the office, or tummy tuck. Let's talk about the balancing act. So cool sculpt, typically one to two hours, but you may need multiple sessions. No medications required. Most people are pretty comfortable drive in and drive out. Liposuction takes one to two hours in the office. It's done typically with some laughing gas and numbing medicine. It's about one to two hours in the office, and you need a responsible adult to take you home. Tummy tuck is done in an outpatient surgery center. It's done under general anesthesia and typically takes two hours. You have to look at your abdomen and say, who do I look most like to determine which procedure might be most appropriate for you? Of course, in person, I'll guide you through all of that stuff in examining you and your specific desires. But as a rough guideline, if you have a minimal amount of fat, with no stretch marks, no muscle laxity, cool sculpt might be an option. If you have a little bit of extra skin, but not too much, but extra fat is your concern, then liposuction is a nice permanent way to remove that fat. And if you have loose muscles after having had children or c-sections loose skin and stretch marks and fat then the most appropriate option for you might be a tummy tuck but again this is a rough guideline and i'll take you through it in a personal examination when you come to my office so let's talk about cool sculpt in a bit more detail one hour recovery time is just one day and there is no scar because it's non-invasive it uses cryolipolysis, which basically freezes the fat, and the body then creates an inflammatory reaction to clear it. Completely non-invasive. This is the machine. This is the mechanism. So treatments last about one hour. For instance, the flanks would then take two hours, one hour on this side, one hour on that side, one to two cycles per area, so you'll need to come back for a repeat treatment. And you see the maximal effects at about three months. Each cycle reduces the fat bulge about 25%. So again, it's less invasive, so it's going to be less dramatic. The more invasive options we talk about will be more dramatic. No downtime. Not talking about liposuction, we're going to see more dramatic results. It's done awake or under anesthesia, depending on the patient's preference. It takes about two hours. The recovery is about a long weekend. The incisions are just little mosquito bites. Is done with a laser and the idea is just like you shrink grapes into raisins we're shrinking the skin with liposuction the laser goes in melts the fat so it's like taking the honey out of a honeycomb the honey comes out but the comb meaning the skin does stay and it shrinks and you can see if you're awake the fat being suctioned right out and it goes away and that's how you know it's permanent the fat was inside your body and now it's in a jar and it's gone as far as those little mosquito bites that we talked about for liposuction, those are hidden inside your tan lines, hidden inside the bikini lines, and they're just tiny little mosquito bites. Here are some close-ups of scars or mosquito bites from laser lipo, and you can see that they fade away. This person just felt like she was pretty flat, despite being young and athletic, had a little pudge that she never got rid of with liposuction. That's gone. She has a smooth contour, and she has curves. A little retained fat with liposuction, smooth contours, and that bump is gone. Liposuction of her abdomen gave her the results that she wanted. She sends me a message. Of course, we black out the name. She's got that six-pack ab that she wanted. A little daddy do-over, tummy lipo, flank liposuction, dramatic result. He's texting me, and he's just overjoyed with the outcome.
24 hours later, you can see the dramatic result from liposuction because, again, the fat's in there and then it's gone because it's in a jar, it's removed. School teacher had liposuction from love handles and abdomen to get his summer body. Alongside with abdominal liposuction, he chose abdominal etching where we gave him a very natural appearing six pack, not one of those comical ones that you might see in a meme. I counsel this person to receive a tummy tuck because there's a lot of loose skin, but she elected to have just liposuction and she understood that. She understood that she'd have some wrinkles, so she looks good in clothes but she does have wrinkles where the liposuction was done because we knew that she would have extra skin. So for somebody who has extra fat and extra skin, they might still choose to have liposuction, understanding that the skin will be wrinkled. Another patient who was counseled to get a tummy tuck because she had lots of loose skin, but she said she just wanted liposuction at the present time and she understood that she would have wrinkles. So she looked good in clothes, she has a smooth abdomen in clothes, and she's shrunk several dress sizes, but she does have wrinkles when she's out of clothes. Finally, in that balancing act from least invasive to most invasive, we're gonna talk about a tummy tuck, which is part of a mommy makeover and gives a dramatic result, getting rid of all the loose skin, all the fat, and tightening the muscles that have been stretched out from childbirth or C-sections. In particular, when the muscles are separated, there's no way to improve that. No amount of diet or exercise or physical therapy can improve those muscles that are separated. That takes a surgical realignment as we are doing here with tightening that muscle through surgical plication. And it's like a corset. But the trade-off for a tummy tuck, depending on how large the person is, is an incision. It's hidden way down low in a bikini line. I'm gonna show you some post-op pictures and you'll say, wow, that's pretty low. And you can see it's nice and hidden and it fades away. It's never invisible, but it fades. This woman is not pregnant. Her muscles are just blown out before and after with a beautiful smooth abdomen. This person has a combination of loose muscles, as well as lots of loose skin, as well as lots of fat. This is her 50th birthday present to herself, and she just looks fantastic. This can't be achieved through cool sculpture liposuction. When somebody has a major concern, then you need a more invasive procedure to get a more dramatic outcome. We gave her the body that she wanted. Back at the beach, and incisions are well hidden. Another mommy makeover, she's wearing the same underwear before and after, and you can see the incision is low and hidden. All of that wavy gravy, all of that loose skin, those stretch marks, gone, muscles tightened and improved. Lots of loose skin, gone, and that's her incision, nice and low. Lots of loose skin, loose muscle, mommy makeover, boom. Loose skin and fat, she could have had liposuction, but her muscles were loose as well. And with a tummy tuck, she got the dramatic result that she sought. So, cool sculpt, liposuction, tummy tuck, these are ways to address the abdomen. Advantage of cool sculpt, non invasive, no medications. Advantage of liposuction, outpatient, either under anesthesia or in the office with laughing gas and numbing medicine, one to two hours. Tummy tuck, two hours outpatient surgery, but very dramatic. So, you have to decide for yourself. Is my tummy more like this with a little bit of extra fat, minimal extra skin? Or is it extra fat, a little bit of extra skin that really needs just to be cleaned out with liposuction? Or is there loose muscles, loose skin with stretch marks, typically after having had children, and you need a more dramatic outcome to restore your abdominal integrity, get rid of that traumatized skin, and give yourself a reboot. Options are cool sculpt, liposuction, and tummy tuck. Let us help you choose that option which is best suited for you and your body and your lifestyle.